live from the New York, New Jersey area and broadcasting around the globe. Are you ready? Welcome to AMB Talk Radio, the place where your questions are answered about popular culture, relationships, books and romance, and more if you're ready. Come on, come on. Our part of the digital world will make you laugh. Think and utterly change your life. Yeah, we think you can handle that. And now here's your host, a woman we love to watch strut in stilettos, Lady Angeline. Good morning, Risa. Good morning, Mom. How are you this morning? I am wonderful. It is the week of Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so we have to, you know, do our little show about that. Um, what do you want to talk about? Can we talk about how Black Friday has gone from being the day after Thanksgiving to, like, on Thanksgiving, pretty much, like... What do you mean? Oh, you mean all the commercialism? Like, the commercialism, the businesses are, like, making workers, like, work on Thanksgiving. Yeah, a lot of businesses used to be closed the day, the day of Thanksgiving. Now they're actually open mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving, exactly. right? Yeah. So I have friends and relatives of mine that actually work in retail and in um, the food industry and now they're having to work on Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving so they instead can't of, really instead eat instead of celebrating us. the whole yeah. um, time with their family exactly. oh that is so true um, yeah I personally think it should go back to being thankful and not having a time where you're working and working like you have time to take a break from all mm-hmm. the madness and Thanksgiving is about just being with your family and that I don't know I understand people need the money and people, you know, but I don't think anybody wants their holidays shortened. Mm-mm. I know when I wake up and I know it's a holiday, I've been big going, thank goodness I ain't got to get up today. That's what I'm saying. It's a holiday. I don't care if it's 4th of July. I don't care if it's Christmas Day. You're mm-hmm. just happy you don't have to get up and do the whole rat race thing. This is true. So I get what you're saying. I mean, um, I think that businesses have been so worried about all of our money going to online shopping and stuff. They're trying to get us in their physical store, so they keep upping the holidays. We celebrate Christmas now in October. You see Christmas decorations going up, and you see more and more people like saying, you know, uh, we can make a little extra money if we do like they're doing next door or down the street and be open on Thanksgiving, which is really bad because some of those people that are working are people that are actually cooking the food. (laughs) And yeah, now they got the people telling, well, I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna go to work, do my shift, and you guys keep a watch on food. People are gonna be coming home on Thanksgiving, things gonna be burnt, and things ain't gonna be done. Exactly. So food, dinner will be late. It'll be late. A lot of the cooks have to do double time, work their shift for their boss, but also help prepare the food, which goes back to people need to help out in the kitchen this Thanksgiving, like we said before. Exactly. Um, But what are you thankful for this this holiday season? What am okay? This this is like a very hard question for me to answer because there's a lot of things I could be thankful for for my health, um, my family, of course. Yes, she mentioned family. Yes, she mentioned family. Of course I would. Why wouldn't I mention family? I'm just saying. Just making sure it was in the top three. Just making sure. (laughs) Um, I say what I said. Health, family, uh, my close friends. I have to have education, I have to have a job. Um, that's about it. It's like it's a lot of other stuff I'm thankful for. I just can't think of them at the moment. But I know I'm thankful for the same thing: God, family, friendship, my health. You know, um, I think God has been really good in 2013. Of course, there's a lot of things I still wish I had. I'm not gonna lie, material wise or like emotional or um financially. Financially, I'm getting more and more where I want to be at, and which is really good. Um, you know, my dream of having a house in 2013 mm-hmm. came close to finding the right place. Mm-hmm. Um, not really there yet, having my dream house. Um, but I'm hoping that God will make that come to fruition in 2013. Um, I'm really happy with my, how my second book, South, book, South Beach, came out. I loved it. I love the comments I'm getting and reviews I'm getting about it. Um, and please keep supporting it. You know, romance writers, we need our, we need people to support us. Um, I love what's going on with you and Nicole. You're both at the university now and your education is going well. Dean's list students sitting over here next to me. Yes. Yes. Um, and I'm glad that my mom, you know, her health is good. You know, I'm glad that, you know, the people in my life, they love me, they care about me 
And you know, yeah. Ditto. I know, right? I mean, this show was a, a big venture to launch this month in November yes. for us. And um, I didn't think, in the beginning I was worried because YouTube is a place where people go and watch things. They go and watch people, you know, acting crazy or um, giving their color commentary about stuff that they like to do and everything. So I was kind of worried about it just being our voices and hearing our daily commute. And in actuality, it's been starting to take off really well. People are starting to, you know, click in and listen to some of our stuff that we talk about. We're making some people laugh, we're making some people think. And we're having a good time, you know. And if anything, our relatives are getting <laughs> a lot of, you know, wonderful tidbits of learning about our day, feeling like they're more part of our day. Like, no, Nana loves checking in and hearing what's going on with you and, and me and, you know, oh, different God. friends and family <laughs> love that too. So I like it. I like it. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. At first, at first it kind of, you know, makes you nervous. That, like, oh my gosh, Nana's because, listening? Here's the thing. I'm a very private person to the point where people think I have a, a double life when I go there. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just private. So it's kind of weird to be like, oh, let's put like, you know, a show out where you just talk about whatever. Whatever. And I'm just like, so at first I was a little like, eh, but I was like, you know, it's with my mother. So I'll, I'll do it. For me, it was about, you know, we have the best moments in the car that don't really translate when you try to retell the story to people that said, your daughter said what, or you said what to your daughter. <laughs> so so this whole thing started because my youngest daughter is, um, in Tom is in South Jersey. So with her being in South Jersey and us being up here, you know, doing our daily commute, she misses out on the things we talk about in the car. Mm -hmm. So for me, my heart as a mother is like, you know, our best times, the three of us have always been in the car. Always. So I still want her to have that feeling of it. So I wanted her to be able to, whenever she felt like it, mm -hmm. to click on one of the shows, so see, listen to what we were talking about and get that feeling back of being in the car with family. Because I honestly think most families have the funniest moments in the car. Like I can imagine the Wayans family the Wayans family driving somewhere, Marlon uh, and and um, Damon and all of them. That's like Kenan. one of my like favorite um, Hollywood fans because they all are hilarious. Could you imagine Kim and all of them in this big SUV and the conversations they're having driving oh somewhere? God. The jokes that were probably told next are probably hilarious. Oh my goodness. And I think a lot of families have different times when they're in the car and funny things happen like roadkill in the road. Or seeing somebody on the side of the street waiting to cross, wearing something they shouldn't be wearing. That, that reminds me of what happened this past week. What happened this past week? So I was hanging out with my roommate, and we were like going out to get food or something. And No, we were going to the mall, excuse me. And uh, we were driving down the road, and I saw two dead Bambies, and I almost had a heart attack. So I was just like, Bambies? Oh. Yeah, it's horrible. No, yeah. It's like, but it's right in the middle when you guys were driving? Well, no, thank God. They were, on, they were both on the side of the road on my side, of course. Ugh. Because, you know, dad says that I clearly I just look for roadkill and I just and I don't. It just catches my eye and I look and I'm like, roadkill. So, yeah. Bambi. I feel so wow. bad for little Bambi. Like, no. Well, I just want to take this time and thank everyone that has listened to our show, that has, you know, subscribed to the show, that has told someone else about something funny that they liked or something that they, you know, was entertaining to them. Because we appreciate it. We do. We really, really do. And it's nice to know, even, I used to tell Risa all the time, I don't care if it's just one person that listened to one of the podcasts. We're still going to podcast. Yep. And it has grown exponentially. So we are just so excited and happy. We are. Yeah, for this Thanksgiving season to have this venture be a good one. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how long we're going to do it. I just know that, you know, I'm getting something out of it. I'm capturing memories with, with my daughter. And, you know, hopefully next year we'll have, you know, Nicole in the car too, adding some bits of her wisdom and funniness. And we'll have it, you know, that will at least be, the next level. That will be... People, don't, people aren't even ready for that. That's why we have to, like ease them in because all three of us that right there is just a whole nother yeah. show because when you have all three of us all in the same us, car it's a funny moment some, some things happen that we can't explain nor control true <laughs> so uh, we're at our destination now oh it's been an honor and a privilege to you know have this show 
and talk to you guys today. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Yes, please appreciate everyone that, you know, loves you genuinely and cares about you. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening to AMB Talk Radio with Lady Angeline. If you like what you just heard, pass along our web address, ambishop.com, to the people you actually like. Be sure to check out our website for previous podcasts. This has been an AMB production.